So the first step is to dry brine the salmon. I have um, washed them off and I'm just going to pat them dry with some kitchen towel. They're going to release a lot of moisture once we put them in the Ziploc bag for brining and add the salt and sugar to it. Anyway, so we're going to make a dry brine for this and they're going to be dry brining at least a day and a half. I'm going to give them two days because it's 10 o'clock in the morning now and I will do this the day after tomorrow, starting in the morning. Anyway, so uh, it's really simple. It depends on how much fish you have, of course, but the ratio of the brine is one, or actually we'll do it the other way around, one sugar to two salt. I'm using, this is uh, half a deciliter, which is um, just over three tablespoons, so say three tablespoons of sugar to six tablespoons, which is one deciliter, six tablespoons of salt. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of ancho chili, just because I like it. That's entirely optional. Give that a stir. And then the idea is to apply this to the fish and uh, put them into the Ziploc bag. But I'm actually going to do do it the easy way around. I'm using a regular Ziploc bag and I'm going to put the fish in here first and I will put them, this is a little bit to taste actually, but I will put them skin side out. So, use this. So we're going to add the brine to the fish. Just to make sure that you get some on all of it. There we go, so it's all in there. And we're just gonna shake this around so that we coat everything. I don't have a vacuum sealer here, so I'm just gonna press out as much air as I can. And then I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and that's where it's gonna stay until whatever, it's uh, Tuesday today, so until Thursday. Okay, there we go. See you in two days. Okay, so it's been two days in the fridge. I'm gonna wash this uh, salmon off and I'll bring you over to the grill. We're outside and um, I'm gonna use this uh, coal smoke generator. It's like spiral and it's uh, fairly cheap compared to the branded ones. Yeah, but I think it's gonna work fine. I did uh, do a try burn yesterday. This is about four inches and that gave me about an hour of smoke. So I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours or so. So I'm gonna go, just gonna make sure that there's no leap over. We don't want this to ignite over the edges because we don't want this to go too fast. Something like so, that's gonna give me probably 12 hours of smoke. And then we're gonna start it off by lighting the end here. The beginning, ah, it's starting to smoke. We're gonna put the grate on here. Then we're gonna have a pan. And if needed, if the temperature in here goes over 80 degrees or 25 or so Celsius, I'm actually going to put some ice in the tray, but we'll figure that out. I'm going to use this little elevation grade. Great. That's going to be sturdy enough. Just to keep the salmon up. Then we're going to put the salmon on here. We're going to like so. And so, skin side down. We're going to put the lid on here. Open up the top vents, we don't want it to uh, have enough exhaust and we'll just leave it to it. See you in six or seven hours. Okay, there we go, it's been eight hours. Let's take a look at this. Temperature started to creep upwards, so oh, this looks really good. Uh, so a couple of hours ago, I did uh, re uh, add some ice to this. But other than that, it looks like it's burned really nicely. This feels really firm. I'm gonna give it a slice. 
It's got a really nice color. Bring that up close to you. This is what it's supposed to look like. And a couple, couple, uh, a couple of slices. I'm actually going to use this for a cheesesteak surf and turf sandwich tonight. So. Okay, there we go. Cold smoked salmon. Let's give it a taste. It's got a little bit of the salt and sweetness from the uh, uh, brine of course, but it's got a really nice uh, smoke flavor. I forgot to say that I used the uh, blend of beech and apple for this. The beech gives it a little bit of a tang and the apple, well, it gives it an apple flavor. Let's try another piece. Hmm. The texture is superb, actually. This is perfect. Well, uh, I'm probably going to eat all of this way too soon and then I have to make some more. Thank you for watching. Bye.